Good morning everyone. I am Lokeshwari, Assistant Professor, Department of Nutrition and Dietetics, KSR College of Arts and Science, Pagamai. Now we are going to see General Home Science Unit 1. So in Unit 1, uh, the main topic is based on the family. So let us see the definition of uh, family. So family is a group uh, defined by sex relationship sufficiently presides and enduring to provide for a procreation and upbringing of children. This is the definition which was set by Matt Clever. And family is a group of a person united by the ties of marriage, blood or adoption, a consisting of a single household interaction and intercommunicating with each other in respect of social roles of a husband and wife, mother, father and son, daughter, brother, sister are creating a common culture. So this was the definition which was given by Burgess and Locke. The next definition we are going to see a more or less durable association of a husband and wife with or without the children or man or woman alone with the children. This was the definition which was given by Animkov and a group of a person uh, who relations uh, whose relations to one another are uh, uh, based upon the consanguinity and uh, uh, who are therefore kind to uh, kin to uh, the another. So this was the definition which was uh, given by Davis. So more or less the, all the definitions gives the same meaning. A slight changes in the sentence alone and the words alone. Uh, the next thing is a family is a relationship, a system of relationship existing between the parents and then the children. So this was the definition which was given by Clare and the biological social unit composed of the husband, wife and children. So it is a biological social unit which only consisting of uh, husband, wife and children. So this was the definition which was uh, uh, this definition for family which was given by Eliot and the metal. Next, this is the characteristics of the family. So, a characteristics of the family, this includes a matting relationship, a form of marriage and then uh, a matting relationship which is nothing but a family comes to existence when a man and a woman that uh, both establishing the matting relationship between them and this relations may be, uh, may be of a shorter duration for or, or may be lifelong. A form of marriage which is nothing but it is established during the institutions of marriage. So, marriage, uh, marriages uh, may be uh, solemnized in simple way as in case of uh, in Europe or it, uh, its celebration may be a long process as generally in India. As we all know in India, uh, marriage is a more major function and it uh, uh, it took longer, uh, longer process uh, to complete that. And partners may be selected by the parents uh, or by the elders or the choice may be left to the wishes of the individual concerns. Maybe uh, the partners may be chosen by the parents or else uh, their younger ones or elder ones, uh, they may choose their partners or otherwise uh, they can choose themselves also. So that is also included in this and what are the types of the family so the types of the family is the most important primary group in a society and it is the simplest and the elementary form of society so the family is as an institution is universe uh, universal so it is the most permanent and the most pervasive of all the social institutions in case of the west family it is defined as economic and social unit uh, china and japan family is a cultural religious unit and sociologists have spoken to the uh, different forms and the types of the family. The next is on the basis of marriage, how they are classifying the types of family on the basis of the marriage. So here comes monogamous family and polygamous family. So what is monogamous family? That is one couple where there is one wife and one husband live with their children. So this is called the monogamous family. Uh, monogamous family. And then and then polygamous family so polygamous family which is nothing but a kind of family with the two or more men or women and get married and they live together so this is called a more polygamous family and this cycle which repre uh, represents the family life cycle so in this we can see the stage by stage process that is firstly newly married stage and then uh, next to that early parenthood stage and then later parenthood stage and then empty nest stage and then retirement stage the death of the spouse so uh, in between that what are the family facing the cycles that is a wedding or else a birth of the first children a birth of their second children so their, their, their retirement stage so everything was given in this family life cycle 
next thing is what is the advantages of budgeting so doing budget what are the advantages that the family gets so here comes that is helps in the proper distribution of family income for satisfying their living and it is valuable meaning a means of comparing the various items and budgeting facilitates the adjusting irregular income to regular expenditure and also it helps to live within one's own income by budget we can identify the unnecessary and extravagant expenditures too thank you